What is up RC enthusiasts? Today we have a B36 transporter. Let's check it out. This right here is a behemoth of a 16 scale rig right here. This is everything that comes in the box. So what you see me holding is what you get. Now this is under a hundred dollars, I believe. As you can see, it's pretty sweet. Now the B36 front right here is, you know, nothing new. We've seen this before, but it is one of their cooler, more detailed RCs. And it's six wheel drive. Yep, legit six wheel drive right there. They have a new gearbox that they installed in here with a bigger motor and a little bit lower range. So it's a lot smoother. And I can tell you what, this one right here was built pretty smooth. and. I've already test driven it and the drivetrain and everything, you know, it still has plastic drive shaft. It has the metal ring and pinions in the axles. So it's, you know, a little bit more durable than their regular, you know, RTR back in the day, but the kits are pretty good and the KMs is what I'd recommend. So if you've ever want to upgrade these axles, I recommend that. But anyway, stock form is pretty good. And if you're just going to use it as a transporter with this right here, cause it does come with this, then it's good enough the way it is. I believe as you can tell right here, you have a quick disconnect. To disconnect the rig right here from the rest of the transporter. Oh, I forgot to disconnect the wire, man. I almost ruined that. And the wire's got a quick disconnect too, just a servo style. And it's easily, you know, connectable. Just back up into it. And then boom, you're back reconnected. Oh, my table's too slippery. Yeah, I connected. Trailer. That's a pretty secure connection as you can tell I'm holding the whole truck up with it. I can hold the whole trailer up with it. Now this trailer is two piece. You're gonna have to assemble this trailer underneath. As you can tell the tailgate right there is motorized. You can see the little motor down here and that's why you have that wire connecting it to the front because everything is controlled via your transmitter. So everything is transmitter, turn on your headlights with your transmitter and also load and unload your rig with your transmitter. So that's pretty cool. And also one bonus, if you have the E1, which is the tank vehicle from WPL, that one can actually bind to that transmitter. All you have to do is open it up and there's a little jumper you change on the ESC receiver combo. And then once you change that jumper to the second truck, now you can control both this and your E1 with one transmitter. So you can pretty much run it with this, then park this guy, switch to the E1, then unload your E1 off this and play around with the E1. And after that, load it back on here, switch back to this, and off you go. Look how smooth this thing is, guys. Fully proportional, throttle and steering. I could steer a little bit or a lot. And it also has a steering dual rate. As you can see, I can get more out of it, but it's not really giving it that much more. It's kind of limited. Okay, channel three is just for a drag brake or no drag brake. Tell it's really smooth. Probably the slowest you can go right there. And it's carrying the E1 right now, which is pretty heavy with the metal tracks. Ooh, got some decent speed to it. Ooh, I peeled out right there. Driving aspect fun of this guy, I guess it's just learning how to drive a trailer around. Maneuvering a trailer. Yeah, I wish my E1 was working right now, guys, but I blew one of the motor out. You know, my fault for pushing it really hard on trail climbing and stuff, but easy fix, cheap motors. You know, once I get my motor in, I'll replace that. And
So this thing is pretty cool right here, you know, very detailed. And trailer seems to be pretty well built. I wouldn't want to load it up with too much heavy stuff. Maybe, you know, two 18 scale trucks could probably fit in here nicely still. And of course the E1, which it was meant for. And I've seen some people actually putting the B24 on here and that fits pretty well on here too. As you can tell the rear right here, you don't have suspension, it's just more like a sway back and forth, kind of, you know, rudimentary style of a suspension, but it works. It's definitely better than not having any suspension for sure. And the tires itself are kind of like those toy style tires where it's plastic all the way through and they just wrap rubber around it so it's not pliable. As you can tell, it's just a solid rubber, but it's a soft enough rubber, but it's just a solid trailer rubber. Same with the spare you get back there, but this spare you get back here is actually the same spare for these right here. So it's a functional spare right here and it's pretty good rubber. And it feels like they upgraded the rubber a little bit on this. I'm not sure. It's still not as soft as their kit rubber, but it's not as hard as their old RTR rubbers, I believe. That's just how I feel right now by just feeling them. So there might be an upgrade in the tire compound here. And one of the cool things is the new back end to this guy. Obviously you can attach this whole back end and everything to your old B36. Let's just say you have a KM B36 where it has all metal, everything underneath already. Well, Take this back end and trailer, attach it to that, and you have yourself a beefier rig right out the box. But anyways guys, this is what you get out the box right here, straight ready to run, with a battery, charger, and everything. All you need are two double A's for the transmitter, and you're ready to go. So, pretty fun, pretty good price, and you get a very long RC for the price. Well alright guys, thanks for watching this usual, and as always, stay safe out there, have fun, and go run, which I'm going to do next in my next video with this guy, run that RC.